Hello friends, we're back here for another Ruby reaction. Today we'll be checking out Volume 5, Chapter 9. Let's get it. Whew. All right, so in the last episode we got, we finally found out that um, Ilya actually has feelings for Blake, which was surprising. And it actually looks like Yang has to. I don't know if I'm reading too much into that. Because she was really dramatic about, you know, what if I needed her? What if, you know, she, I ne she wasn't there for me? Like, you had, you had Ruby, you had Wise, you know, you had like your dad to, you know, comfort you. Like, why is Blake suddenly important? Like, I know she's your partner in the whole team right but ruby's your sister so that should you know take priority over that but i don't know maybe maybe yang's the type to save blake over ruby if it comes to that hopefully not but you know You know, I just noticed, hold up, before we start, <laughs> I just noticed, like, someone was, uh, a friend of mine was asking me, like, who's, like, the hottest character here, like, if I had to bang someone, um, you know, it's anime, so, everyone is kind of bangable, but, I don't know. Maybe Blake or Yang. I mean, yeah, maybe. But definitely if I was going to marry someone, I'd go Pira all the way. No question. But, you know, just... I think... I think Yang could be like a one-night stand. Uh, I kind of want to say Blake could be like a full-blown fubu. But... I, I fear like... It would be too dramatic for me. I, I would be so not in the mood for, you know, the the talk that will come afterwards. You know, Kevin, you're the embodiment of this word. Can we stop? Okay. Uh but yeah. And then I and then I suddenly realized like wow you got Blake has like Ilya Yang adam and son going after her like damn how whew, how hot is that pussy man and ruby's not even getting shit anyway um hopefully that didn't really offend anyone but yeah let's let's get on i'll stop Raven, we have a problem. What is it? Salem's found us. Oh, yeah. Okay. Four of her followers are waiting to speak with you. Right. My plan for this. And you're lucky they, they didn't go full power. You know, they could have had Tyrion and Hazel there. And, whoa. <laughs> They'd be like, Tyrion, get get Vernal. Uh, we'll three on one Raven. So many guests into our home. Either I'm losing my memory, or you've all lost your spines. Don't be too upset with them, Raven. Your men simply recognize the power of a maiden when they see it. Which is why we'd like to have a word with you. I wonder if um Leave that us. fire in the eye. Your things, then I wonder if here. that's We're moving something they can see or if that's just aesthetic for the audience hide. you've been on our master's list for some time so you must understand that we cannot allow you to slip away i know all about your master but i don't believe we've met we're the guys you should be afraid of 
I doubt anyone should be afraid of you. Oh yeah? Tell that to quiet. <laughs> he was about to That's mention Yang. <laughs> I'm Cinderfall. This is my associate, Arthur Watts. And my disciples, Emerald and Mercury. Two children you've tricked into following you. A disgraced Atlesian scientist and a fall maiden with a surname so appropriate she probably picked it herself. Damn! Something tells me you've got more than a slight case of egomania. Is that about right? The disgraced Atlesian scientist. <clears throat> uh, technically, I was also a doctor, but I must say the rest was spot on. Aren't you perceptive? That's what's kept me alive. I'm Dude, I'm kind of excited for Watts' arc. You have something we need to see master. more Watts. Of course, if I'm <laughs> Vernal. So. This is the long lost. Now, if they really wanted to put some LGBT here, we do it on Vernal. That's the way to do it. Damn, that's the same look uh, Cinder gave when in the in the opening. That that power looks delicious. Bernal has done well under my guidance. I'd take that into consideration before you try anything. Raven, I won't underestimate you, so please don't insult my intelligence. There is a slim chance you and your maiden could escape here today, but if you know our master as well as you claim to. Then you know you could never truly escape her. Well, yeah. I'm bearing an olive branch. The maidens are merely a means to an end. Salem's true desires are the relics. The relics, yeah. The Huntsman Academies. Like, it's true Some that they do have a chance to win this, but it's so slim. You you wouldn't want to bet, bet the house on it. Them. It's the best deal either. And they sent Watts, Watts as the diplomat. I love it. That's like, I doubt Watts is like a good fighter, but his, his probably all specialty is like technology vault. and strategy and all. Like, he's the brains of the operation. The to turn your back on Oz, Raven. I'm not helping Salem. I'm not helping Oz. I don't want a part in any of this. That ship sailed when you chose to harbor a maiden. But if you come with us to Haven, exactly. Like, you, why did you, you harbor the maiden? And your little secret to live out the rest of your days squabbling in the wilderness. Like, you know, Salem's gonna go after them. We so what for? Need the relic. Are you trying to protect the relics too? I need time to think this over. You don't have time. In two days, Haven Academy will be destroyed by the White Fang. Damn, two days. Choose now. Backed me into a corner, huh? Dude, shit is gonna pop off. Are you with us? I mean, I thought it was gonna take longer, right? Agreements like these are built on trust. And forgive me for saying, but I don't trust a single one of you. You're going to need to give me more. You are in a poor position to negotiate. I want my brother dead. Crow? That's right. He knows I have spring. And if I help you get your relic... Damn, I just noticed Raven has a big head. I have enough problems to deal Anyone with. Anyone else notice that? Like, Crow her head is significantly me, bigger than ev everyone else. If Leo really what is a big loyal head. to you, then you can order him to invite Crow right into an ambush. He arrives at Haven, we take him down, you get your relic, and we all leave. Happy. Wow. 
He wants to take now out this is the a old man. I can get behind. All right, ladies, let's pause for a moment. We have one objective. Retrieving the relic of knowledge. Now, Crow Bronwyn may be on our list of individuals we would very much like dead, but he's not going to go down without a fight, and he's not going to fight quietly. Our advantage here is just as you said. We walk straight into Haven. No resistance, no one the wiser. The battle with your brother throws that all out the window. He's good, but not that good. All of us against him? It'll be over in a heartbeat. But it's not just him. He has the students with him. He has Ruby. Yeah. He certainly does. If we leave that school a bloody mess, it will draw the attention of the authorities. The kingdom will be on high alert and the White Fang's attack will be ruined. Then we wait. We wait until the full moon. Leo invites Crow and his little fighters to Haven the same night Hazel and Adam arrive with the White Fang. As soon as the battle is won, the White Fang demolishes Haven and any evidence we may have left behind is lost along with the school. Then Salem leaves my people alone. For good. You have yourself a deal. Wait. Don't think I don't see what you're after. Exactly. If this falls to pieces over your grudge with a child, I will not be taking the blame. Then what are you worried about? Damn, she burned the watts. Fly back home and tinker with your machines. And tell Salem she'll get what she wants. And more. Hold up. Wow. You know, Watts is definitely top five. Top five favorite characters. Easily. You saw that moment when um, the moment where he was like, I want Crow dead and uh, Watts was like, wait, wait the, our objective is to get the relic. Now, we could kill Crow, but you know, that complicates things. Why would you try to complicate things if we already have a straight way to the relic, right? Like, it's like gambling, right? It's like, I can get you a, thou a, a grand, or you could like, you could like toss 10 coins and if you know two of them are heads then uh i'll give you another 500 but if it's not you get you you don't win anything so why would you risk that when your objective is already clear right so watch is definitely uh one of the smartest characters in the show for recognizing that and he also realized that the plan could fail and you know Salem doesn't really take kind into failure so he made sure that you know if it does fail he will not take the blame for that because he already recognized the win condition is you know this path not the whole ambush the team crow and uh, and also the way the way Emerald was like she has Ruby and then Cinder's like, she does. Like, like Cinder wants to fuck up Ruby, but the way Emerald said it, she has Ruby, uh, Cinder. I mean, you trained and, and shit, but if the silver eyes comes up, you're fucked, right? You probably lose another eye. <laughs> so, and I think, I don't want to read too much into it because I hate it when people do that. Uh, when they assume something and you know there's no um there's no clue or foreshadowing or hint that supports that but the way cinder said when they shook hands with raven she'll get what she wants and more i think the end more is reference to 
uh, the spring power, right? Like, I wonder, I mean, I, I don't want to say that she's trying to get the spring, but that's what it looks like, right, in the opening. The, the face she made when uh, Vernal was doing it, like, she looked like she wanted that power too, but I don't know if Ospin made, like, a clause that um, one person cannot have the power of two maidens like that. But, yeah, I mean... <sighs> Uh, Cinder does Cinder does have a way of extracting the power manually so maybe that could bypass the rule of Ospin but anyway I'm just kind of rambling right now just my thoughts but you know leave it in the comments if you guys find it interesting I do I do try to make my rambling like with sense and not just whatever whatever Damn! What kind of fun is this uh, hero? Is he like a bear? Mm, that's wind, wind dust. Surprise, motherfucker! Wind and fire. Hurry. I wonder how how is Sun like repelling that? Does he have like dust in his staff, like wind dust to counter it? Where's mom? I'm not sure. Cause I yeah, I, right Once we take down Courtney, it doesn't make sense to me now. that that would stop it. Like, is that just inconsistency? Is waste of space. Let's see him prove it. We got this, Blake. Yeah. Sock these creeps since the day we met. Gira and Sun versus Corsic and Finnick. You'll have to get in line. Blake, go. I won't let you down, sir. Shut up. You got it. Dude, that bear though. Yes, Vernal. I followed them as you asked. Okay. Did they spot you? <laughs> of course not. They have a ship two clicks west of here. Looks like they're staying there for the night. Thank you, Vernal. Anything else? Do you actually believe they'll let us go once they have the relic? Of course not. They'll never leave us alone. Once our purpose has come and gone, we'll be discarded. Salem only uses people until they are no longer useful. If we want to have any yeah, chance, yeah, so we should leave you alone, right? Isn't her, that the? Then we need. Isn't that exactly relic. what it means? If Crow and those brats want to follow Ozpin, then let them. When the chaos reaches its peak. Isn't being discarded the same as leaving you alone? That your daughter will be a part of all that? Doesn't matter. I warned her. She made her choice. Oh. This path won't be easy for us either. But we must do what's right for the tribe. I know. I'll do whatever it takes. Good. Yeah. Hey, Crow. Oh, okay. So she she can That's use nice her semblance while in bird mode. He made the portal close to Crow, but not exactly within his presence. And I wonder where she's going.
Haven't had a boss fight in a while, huh, Blake? The tension was real there. <laughs> Alright. Pause here. Okay. So, this was a pretty uh, decent episode. We finally got more Watts, which thank you. Thank you. We got, um, we got confirmation that the plan is happening within two days. So, hopefully... It has to be within the definitely within this season we're gonna see it it's not gonna be you know it, it it's gonna be resolved this season because you know ruby's spacing and if it's just two days it has to happen now so probably the next episode we're gonna get we're gonna get the conclusion of this fight Hopefully they conclude it. I don't think they'll go more than an episode for that. And um, we might get something about the planning. And then after that, all that's left is... I don't know, maybe we get a conversation between Salem and Tyrion. And Tyrion gets to show off his new tale. Just, you know, a little more fan service there. Um, what else? Hopefully we get to see more Hazel. But I think, oh yeah, Hazel is coming with uh, Adam at the Fall of Beacon. So, or sorry, the Fall of Haven. So, yeah, she's gonna be there. Hmm, what else happened this episode? Oh yeah, so it looks like um there's gonna be some infighting between the alliance of uh cinder and the uh, raven because uh raven did say that we're gonna be the ones taking the relic which i don't know why i don't know why it's important to her that she i mean i i get it's important to keep it away from salem but does she, do we even know what the relics do like can you is it like the dragon balls that it's kind of useless until you have all parts or you know i don't know I, they probably don't know unless you know ospin believe ospin knows right he has to know so i wouldn't be surprised if ospin was the one who sealed it there in uh, in the first place i don't know if that was mentioned but i'm just making a guess there so yep, uh, that's the episode. If you guys like the content, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Uh, also, if you want to support your boy even more, um, link for the Patreon is down below. You can uh, donate any amount you want. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.